Congratulations, you've made it through the entire chapter of PHP. Man, if you're still with me, I'm proud of you. And um, what we're going to do in this video is just take a minute to take everything we've kind of learned up until this point and just uh, put it together and wrap it on up and uh, hopefully you can kind of start seeing some of the power uh, with programming. Now we're going to do anything super crazy or cool yet, um, but I just want to kind of, let's get our feet wet a little bit with some interesting things. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my screen and we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, make sure that you have XAMPP running. So we talked about that every uh, lesson. Just make sure XAMPP's running so that this works for you. And then let's go ahead and create, let's create a new file and let's just call this form.php. And then go ahead and close down the other files. We're not gonna need that right now. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, let's navigate to form.php. Okay, and we'll have a blank screen there, no big deal. And then what I wanna be able to do is let's start doing a little bit of HTML here. So go ahead and uh, put your boilerplate for an HTML document here. And um, let's go ahead and in the title, let's put um, PHP form, okay? Then what I'd like for you to do is let's create um, an H2 here, or you know what, let's do an H1. And in here, let's just say, please fill out the form below, okay? And then what I wanna do is let's create a form. So just go ahead and enter a form. And for the action for now, um, let's just submit this to, um, um, let's submit this, what are we gonna call this? Um, let's just say parser.php. And then what we're gonna do is we're also gonna change the method. And we're gonna change the method to post and that's all uppercase. So we have method and then we have our action which will be uh, parser.php. Now what we're gonna do is inside of here, I want to, um, just start building out some form fields. So uh, this is going to be a little bit of a review, but let's go ahead and create a label here. And uh, let's do first, uh, you know what, I like to abbreviate things, so I'm gonna say F name, and we'll say first name. So we're creating a label for first name. And then let's go ahead and add an input and we'll give that an ID of F name, and we'll give that a name of F name as well. Type of this will be text, okay? And then um, I think that's all we'll need there. Um, and then we're, what we're gonna do is let's save that and just refresh and make sure it looks fine. Okay, we're not gonna do any, we're not gonna do a bunch of styling, but I just wanna kind of um, create a form here. So then let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna copy this a few times and we'll paste that. So instead of F name, let's change all this to L name. And the label we're gonna change to last name. And uh, we'll change this to L name as well. That will also be text. Okay, and then um, what I'd like for you to do is create another one. So paste this down here and let's do favorite underscore color. And for a label, let's give this favorite color. But instead of an input, what we wanna put here is um, a select. And we'll close that select. And let's give this an ID equal to favorite color and give this a name equal to favorite color as well. And then what we're gonna do is let's create an option and we'll leave it an empty option for the top one. 
and let's create another option and for this let's just start listing out some colors okay and just put it lowercase for the value you know we'll, it doesn't matter just keep it lowercase on the values um, and then I'm gonna duplicate this a few times and just change this color up red green blue and then uh, what I'd like and then just you know just just pick a few different colors purple okay let's go ahead and refresh here so we have first name last name and then we have favorite color uh, the other thing I want to do is let's just add a break tag after these just to put these on a different line. Now again we could do this with some CSS but I don't want to spend a bunch of time with CSS right now. I want to, um, uh, let's see, maybe we'll do, we'll do a little bit of CSS. Let's, um, you know what, let's go ahead and wrap these in a div. And then we won't need the break tags. And I am just doing this, uh, you know, I didn't plan this out or anything. We're just building this as we go. Because I think that's going to be, it's going to turn out to be really cool. kind of have a little idea of what something I want to do here. So I'll go ahead and put this one in a div as well. We'll get rid of this break tag. And then what we'll do is at the top here, go up in the head and add a style tag. And inside of here, just um, let's do form. And then um, inside the form, we'll target a div. And then let's just, um, See form div and then let's give this a margin bottom and let's give it 28 pixels let's see what that looks like there we go that's kind of a lot though let's let's switch to 18 pixels there we go uh, good enough I, I'm not too concerned about how this looks at this point um, again we're just making a quick form to fill out uh, let's go back down here now and let's add another div and inside of here let's do a label and uh, this one um, let's uh, let's put vehicle and then what is your favorite car or vehicle Okay, and then let's put an input here. ID, vehicle, name, vehicle. Okay, we'll just leave that as type text, which will be the default. All right, um, and let's put You know what, let's do one more. This is our last one, so I know it's kind of repetitive. Um, uh, just put ideal as the four. And in the label here, let's put describe your ideal life. And then down here, let's give this a text area, and let's give it a name, ideal, ID, ideal, and let's close that text area. 
And then let's give this a rows equals, um, and let's just do seven. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's do, after this label, let's just go ahead and add a break tag. There we go. And uh, up here in our style, um, let's let's target our text area, and let's do a min width of uh, fifty percent. Save that, refresh, and let's just do uh, a margin top of 12 pixels there we go the last thing that we're going to do is add our submit button so let's just add right here a div and inside of here we're going to add an input and the type of this will be submit and the value of this will be uh, just put save refresh now we have a save button. All right, and we'll go ahead and click on this after you've saved, and this should take us to a parser.php file. And it does, uh, it, but it says there's a 404, which is fine, so hit back. And we're back on form.php. We haven't created the parser.php file yet. I just wanted to make sure that we had that uh, set up correctly within our form. So if that happened and you have everything else here, we are good to go. Um, the next thing that we're going to need to do is handle uh, the, the um, parser file. Now this is where we're going to submit the file to. So let's go back now and look at the form. And if you look inside the action here, this is the file now, if you don't if you don't put anything in here, it's going to actually send this information back to this. But when I click submit, what it's going to do is send all of my information that I filled out in the form uh, via a post request to the file that I specified here. Now we didn't create this file, so let's go ahead and create that. So let's say parser.php. So now we have that parser.php file open. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead in here and do some and in the title I just want you to write thank you okay and then um, what I'd like for you to do so this is a blank uh, HTML document here so go ahead and fill this out just like this but then what I'd like for you to do is at the very top here uh, let's go ahead and open some PHP tags skip down a few lines and close some PHP tags. And let's go ahead and create a function up here at the top. And let's just create our, our D function that we like to add. And all we're gonna do here is, uh, we're gonna do mostly what we've done already, just echo out a pre tag. Ooh. Echo out a pre tag. And then uh, do a var dump. And then we're going to dump our data and then we're going to echo a closing pre-tag. And then we're going to do something we haven't seen yet. And this is, we're going to type the word die. And what this is going to do is anytime we use this function, it's going to echo, it's going to var dump our data inside of some pre-tags so that we can easily read it. And it's going to kill the page. So it's not going to continue on and do anything else. Um, it, so that we can just easily see this. So we just have this function here ready to use. We haven't done anything with it. Um, and then what I want to do is let's go ahead and uh, let's just type D. You know what? And let's put, since we got the die on here, let's put two Ds for dump and die. And uh, what we want to, what we want to dump and die here is dollar underscore post. Now, what is dollar underscore post? Well, this is what PHP calls a super global. And this is a variable that PHP sets up for us. Um, and it takes whatever is sent via a post request and it puts it inside of an array with key value pairs 
and um, it gives us access to this. So we didn't set this up. PHP is actually going to set this up for us. So since we're going to be posting to this file, we're going to have access to this dollar underscore post. So let's just test that out. So now that we have this dump and die, let's go back to our form and refresh and go ahead and just fill this out. Don't don't spend a lot of time because we're not going to do anything for this yet. Um, I just want you to type a few things in here. Just make sure each thing works. Um, sleeping all day. Okay. And then I want you to hit save. And now when you hit save, it should take you to this parser.php file. And if you've done your, your function correctly, uh, your dump and die, you should actually have an array and it's an associative array. And each one of your form elements, because of the name, will have a, the, the key of the array will be the name and then the value will be whatever we typed in here. So F name was Curtis, L name was Parham, favorite color was red, vehicle I just typed ASDF, and ideal I typed sleeping all day. Now what I would like to do, let me get a drink right, really quick, my mouth is like really dry. And so if you guys think I have a bad uh, speech impediment, which I do, or I just I'm not a very good public speaker. I get worse when my mouth is super dry. Okay, excuse me. All right, so now we have access in our parser file to whatever we filled out on the previous screen. Um, and so, generally speaking, you know, in a normal application, we would use this information to, you know, save some information to a database, which we haven't talked about yet. We're going to be talking about that very soon. In fact, I think we're going to do that in the next lesson, uh, the next chapter. But for now, we don't have a database, so we can use this information however we want. I mean, we could just dump it to the screen. But what I'd like to do, let's go back here to our parser file now. And now that we know that we have all this information, let's go ahead and set up some variables. So first thing I'd like to do is... Um, Let's go down here to the body and let's create a paragraph. And in this paragraph, what I'd like for you to do is just type dear space and then I want you to do this and I'll explain this in a minute. Type PHP echo and then I want you to echo F name. Put a semicolon a question mark and then a closing name. Now we don't have this set up yet, so let's go up here to the top of the page and underneath uh, our DD function here, let's just set up a variable called F name. And we're gonna make this equal to dollar underscore post. Remember we had, if we look back on our page here, we have this array. So we know that the key here is F name. So I want to access the dollar underscore post and then in quotes here, we're just going to say F name. And so now we have a variable that will be whatever we posted from that form. So down here in the body, I want to just say dear, and then we're going to echo that name. And then after that, after the closing PHP text, just put a comma right there. So let's go back now and let's go to the form.php. So if you just hit back or just navigate to form.php, I'm just going to enter. And don't worry about filling out the rest of the form. Just put your first name and hit save. And oops, I still had my, in my parser file, I still have this dump and die post. So let's go ahead and comment that out. And I'm going to refresh here. And it says confirm form resubmission. I'm just going to hit OK because I don't want to fill out the form again. And now it just says dear Curtis. And it has the comma. So what's happening here, it may be, plainly obvious to you, but we are we have a form field called F name. And let me just right click and inspect this. So you have an input and the name is F name. And when I fill out my name, I'm, I could say something like, you know, even Jules. And I'm gonna hit save. And if we look at our network, we see that we have a post request. If I have all selected here, we have a post request that's gone to parser.php now if I scroll down to the bottom, it's got form data. Well, each one of our form fields, it shows our form data that we're posting. The only one I filled out was F name, and I typed Jules. So now my 
my parser page would say, Dear Jules. So you see how this starts to become dynamic based upon the input that was put into the form. So I'd like to continue on here. Let's go ahead now and um, let's set up L name as well since we're here. Dollar underscore post L name. Let's set up a uh, color dollar underscore post and we called that one favorite color. Let's do vehicle dollar underscore post vehicle like that. And then we had one more called ideal. And we just called that ideal. Okay, and then what I'd like to do is let's um, let's do another thing here, and I'm gonna do uh, current year. So just type current year and hit equals. And we're gonna use a PHP date function here, and it's just gonna have a capital Y, okay? And we're gonna do a space, and we're gonna type uh, string str to time street to time, okay? And we're just gonna type now in there like this. Okay? Uh, and then while we're, let's just check that. And so while we're here, instead of dumping and dying our post, let's do current year. And now you can see uh, that it dumped 2021. That's the current year that it has. So what I'd like to do is let's do future year and we're gonna hit equals and we're gonna say date and we're gonna put a capital Y and then we're gonna do string to time and don't worry about if you don't understand this all that much right now just follow along. We're gonna go into more of this in more detail later but this string to time let's do plus 10 years and then let's dump and die our future year value like that and we'll go back to the browser and refresh and now it says 2031 all right then what I'd like for you to do we have everything kind of set up that I wanted set up here within PHP um, and so let's go ahead now and just comment out this right here and save it and then down here after our dear F name let's create another paragraph and I want to um, let's type out a paragraph here and I want you to say um, so it's gonna say dear F name you began learning to code in and then do a space and then what I'd like for you to do right here is just do the PHP and echo out right here in line just echo out current year okay semicolon And then do a, a period and then a space. And I want you to write, it is now and then I want you to put future year. Okay? Period. And then I want you to type out. So you began learning to code in it is now future year and um, type out don't freak out what I'm going to do is just I'm going to break down oops <laughs> my stupid editor don't freak out let's just go ahead and move this down to another line as well but this letter is from you, comma, 
in the future I am writing you to say thank you now let's go down here and let's create another paragraph and let's put um, you begin learning to code and it is now don't freak out but this letter is from you in the future I'm writing you to say thank you learning to develop was not an easy task however you stuck with it and now you are living the life of your dreams. We'll do another paragraph here. And here, um, what we're going to do is, um, let's put, let me tell you a little about your life. First off, first off, you wake up in the morning and go to the best, oh my gosh, come on now, editor, why would you even do that? You wake up in the morning and go to the best job you've ever had. You take your, and then here what I want to do, I'm going to show you a little bit of a different syntax. Do a less than question mark and then an equal sign, and then type in uh, color, space, and then do it again with vehicle. So you take your blank vehicle to work every day and you can't believe this is your life okay so now what we're doing is we are um, building out a paragraph and we're using these variables that come back from the uh, form that was submitted all right Let's do another paragraph tag. And I want you to type in the year and then space. And then let's do the shorthand echo um, syntax here and type current year again. In the year and then do a, a comma space. Um, you described your ideal life as the following and then what I want you to do is go down here to another just add another paragraph and inside of there I want you to echo out um, NL to BR and then put it inside um, parentheses here put out your ideal just like that Okay, so this is a little bit of a syntax you haven't learned yet. Just do exactly what I said, NL to BR, and then put ideal here. Okay, and then um, let's do another paragraph and type this. Type, I want to let you know that you have accomplished your ideal life that you are living your ideal life along with so much more let's do another paragraph tag I am writing you this 
to encourage you to not give up. You can do this. I believe in you because I am you. <laughs> a little corny, I know, but just do play along with me for a little bit, okay? Just play along with me. And then what I want you to do is down here, I want you to type sincerely, comma, oops, you know what? We better put that in a paragraph tag. Sincerely, comma, and then I want you to do another paragraph tag, and I want you to, to type in our echo F name, close PHP, do a space, and then do the same thing again, L name. Okay, and then I want you to save. And then what I would like for you to do is go back to your form. So let's go back and make sure we don't have make sure your DD is commented out and we have all of this okay and then we're done typing this up so let's go back to our form.php and now I'd like for you to honestly fill out this form so I'll do mine Curtis Parham favorite color purple my favorite vehicle uh, paramotor Describe your ideal life. Hmm. I would be physically fit and of good spirits. I would have enough money to help others and to pay my bills without worrying all the time I would raise my kids to be generous and live life to the fullest I would surround myself with others that are full of joy and compassion. It looks like I misspelled compassion. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit save. And if you've done this correctly and you don't have any syntax errors, you should be taken to your parser page that reads something like, Dear Curtis, you began learning to code in 2021. It is now 2031. Don't freak out, but this letter is from you in the future. I am writing you to say thank you. Learning to develop was not an easy task. However, you stuck with it and now you are living the life of your dreams. Let me tell you a little bit about your life. First of all, you wake up in the morning and go to the best job you've ever had. You take your purple paramotor to work every day and you can't believe this is your life. In the year 2021, you described your ideal life as the following. I would, I would be physically fit and of good spirits. I would have enough money to help others and to pay my bills without worrying all the time. I would raise my kids to be generous and live life to the fullest. I would surround myself with others that are full of joy and compassion. I want to let you know that you are living your ideal life along with so much more. I am writing you this to encourage you to not give up. You can do this. I believe in you because I am you. Sincerely, Curtis Parham. Now, let me switch over to my screen here. Look, I know that was a goofy, um, a goofy little uh, project here, and I had a lot of grammatical and spelling errors. But I really, I wanted to do this example to kind of show you what you can do with uh, a form and how to process it with PHP. But more importantly, I, I do want to encourage you guys that I know this is hard. I know that this seems maybe like an insurmountable thing. And to some of you, you're thinking about giving up right now because you just filled out your form and you hit submit and you had a bunch of errors, you know, and you're thinking, crap, 
I've got to go back and redo this, right? What I want to encourage you is, look, the code's all right here. You can, you can go back, you can pause it, you can copy exactly what I have. And eventually, if you've done exactly what I've done, you will get the results that I've gotten. And look, along those same lines, if you stick with me, if you stick with learning to program, not only can you make your page work, but you can make your life work. Look, I can't promise that all of you are going to make it. I can't promise that all of you are going to live your dream lives. I can't even promise that all of you are going to like programming. But what can I, I, what I can say is this, is that there is real opportunity there. There's opportunity to become the best you that you can be. There's opportunity to, to have a well-paid job and that you can help others and you can encourage others in life. Life doesn't have to suck. And if you just put forth the extra effort, Instead of going home and playing video games, instead of going home and watching movies at night, instead of going home from work and feeling sorry for yourself, if you work, work, work and learn and never stop learning and never give up and most importantly, believe in yourself, I want you guys to fill this out honestly and read it to yourself and print it out on paper if you have to. If you're if you're one of those uh, environmental nuts or you don't have an, uh, a printer or whatever, just run this save it, screenshot it, whatever you got to do, read this every day and imagine yourself writing yourself a letter telling you thank you. Thank you for sticking with it. Guys, I believe in you. In the next vi in the next chapter, we're going to dive into a new concept that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, and it's, it's actually a lot easier than what we've just done. Um, and believe it or not, you guys have already done a, a lot of the hard work. Okay, we're just going to continue to kind of build on our knowledge and add things to it and shape and mold some of the stuff that we've learned. We're going to add some things that we haven't talked about yet, like stupid stuff like security and, and all that stuff that we have to worry about. But ultimately, believe that you can live your best life. And if programming is something that you're falling in, lo falling in love with, you can do this. Don't give up. I'm one of the dumbest people I know. And I get paid every day and I cannot believe I get to wake up in the morning and go to work and write code for a living because I used to shovel dirt. I used to tear roofs off. I used to do some of the most grueling and hard jobs in my life. And I thought that I was going to make minimum wage the rest of my life. Or if, if I was lucky, I could make, you know, uh, a lower middle class wage and I could pay my bills. But life can be better than that. It's better than that for me. It's getting better all the time. And I want that for you as well. Guys, this can be, this world is, it's crazy. There's 7 billion people, but you know what? I firmly believe that there's enough for everyone. I firmly believe that we can help one another and we can all lift each other up. And even though we live, we live in a competitive world, there's enough to go around. There's enough to go around. Help each other. Help each other in the comments, and when you and when you make it, reach back and lift someone else up. There's enough coding jobs to go around. It's not going anywhere. And if it does, we'll figure something else out. I love you guys. I hope you're falling in love with programming. See you in the next video.